0.25, and the car that's actually on the uh, track is the um, is the, Mar the Morgan of Robin Wright. So if the Morgan will come up and uh, and go back down again. And if the driver's listening, Robin, uh, Christine would like your car. He's only from Kirby Lonsdale, so, uh, and he's a designer from Kirby Lonsdale. So Robin Wright, um, whose hobbies are cars and buildings. Uh, it's his first season competing in this... Uh... So the uh, MG, uh, it's a Class C race car. Uh, modified with a and he's going to take Morgan back down the hill so he'll get a rerun because he was stopped he was red flagged through the Aston deciding to take up grass track racing we're very fortunate the outside of the uh, hairpin not protected by bales is actually fairly level when you come off the exit of the hairpin then it gets a bit lumpier uh, but uh, the Aston decided to take quite a long line on the outside with absolutely no damage whatsoever other than to pride and a good look for the, uh, the spectators having a nice look at this glorious DB6 4.2 uh, minor mods only what are minor mods to a, a DB6? I don't know 1969 Colin's had that for 29 years a retired project manager so the, uh, the Moggy will go back uh, down again Robin Wright will uh, go back down if he can manoeuvre him round him we'll put him back in the queue so he'll get a, another run. So this is uh, part way through the uh, last batch, batch four, for the um, second uh, timed run. Uh, we hope that we're only quarter to three, so I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we shall get uh, two more time runs. So at the moment, car 91 is still our fastest from this morning. So we're about to set off again. So Gary Thomas there on his first run with his force uh, clocked 23.67 on his first time run. Uh, not as quick on his second time run, so he's got hopefully two more uh, goes at it. And we'll be releasing uh, our next competitor very shortly, which might be Robin Wright again, or it might be Wayne Solomon. We'll find out very shortly. So it is in fact Wayne Solomon, the uh, gentleman from the Isle of Man, who's into classic cars. Um, it's his first year competing, uh, so he's never done here before. Um, has yet to have any notable results. It's uh, a 66 Ford Angley with a 1500 pre-crossflow engine, car built to sprint specification by uh, Wayne, and he's trying to keep it in period. It's taken two years to build it to its current spec. Crunches down through the gears. And it clocks 64 miles an hour through the trap and 36.44. How many people here learn to drive on an Anglia? Mm -hmm. Quite a, an interesting mm -hmm. uh, design, wasn't it, when it first came up with that reversed raked rear window? And then, then of course, we got the uh, classic yeah. Capri, oh, George, 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 the same man. thing. Yeah. Or the Capri classic. Yeah. But it was it was. It was 106 is hey. Dave Smith, all the way from Workington, mechanical engineer. Dave Smith in his uh, 1270 Alvis special, third body, original chassis, 55 miles an hour, the trans, 36.99. And uh, Tom, Tom Smith is in car 15, is, is his son, so family Smiths. So Dave Smith in uh, the 1270 special Alvis, it's actually a four-seater drop-head coupe. So, uh, the engine has been developed and tuned over the last four years. It doesn't say what power it's giving out now. 108. Now is uh, the imp. Don't have a commentary sheet about the imp, which is a bit of a shame. But, uh, it clocks 58 miles an hour. And a little cross box on the back of it to keep them quiet. 35.64 is the uh, time for the imp. Pedalled by Stuart Anderson from uh, Bishop Auckland. Well, we've got a couple from nearby Bishop Auckland, Sunny Brow and Bishop Auckland itself in the 998 Imp. 110. 
Uh, next up is Mr. Peter Speakman. Great to see Peter uh, back again after an absence. Um, he has done barbering in 25 seconds in the Bram BT-18 uh, a long time ago. This is the Fisher Alfa Romeo Monaco. Glorious car. We've got 87 miles an hour through the... Uh, and we get 28.26. It is a finished car. People say, where's the bodywork? That's it. That's how it's built. Um, it's built by Jack Fisher in uh, 1968 and it's been uh, restored by George Laycock uh, for the last few years. Um, <laughs> Peter said it's like a large but slow go-kart to drive. Not that slow, Peter. So he's working on completing his third Fisher Special, which is going to be a 1964, which is going to be a single-seater, hopefully to come back next year. Peter's been competing here for a long time. In fact, since 1970, not every year, yeah, most years, he did miss uh, the May meeting this year and unfortunately last year, he missed people completely. So, moving on the court, 115, 46 miles an hour to the track, 47 miles an hour, 47.59, but 116 is nearly 40. That's 36.99 there uh, for the uh, glorious sounding uh, John Mansfield car. Uh, no, the glorious car of John Mansfield. John Mansfield sounds glorious as well. Really helpful, John. He um, um, came out to help uh, set things up yesterday. He's been putting signs and posters all over the place. So, John, thank you very much indeed. 61 miles an hour. 61 miles an hour. with four gearing. 36.59. The cycling instructor from Deep Car in Sheffield. Uh, this is the Austin 7 Pigsty Special. And we're rather hoping we're going to tag 701 on the end of these to save him coming up by himself. Pigsty Special, yes, that's, uh, yes, so that's worked. <laughs> Presumably because it's a built in one. 47 miles an hour for car 120. 120 is not on your program, it's John Hunter from Working City. He's now a farmer. It is 35 off his set. 47 miles an hour, 44.66. Standard looking road car. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's a tack. Well, that's, uh, no, that's a different car. The pick side special is, uh, is uh, no, concentrate at all. Concentrate on the job. 121. Uh, I don't know what's happened here because the timing is showing. Um, I don't know whether uh, we've got strange something. Don't get 121 to the speed trap, and for some bizarre reason, the clock has not cleared. Oh, it has now. But it's. Uh, I don't know what's happened there because Alan Fairless has just come through, and the clock is still ticking on Alan Fairless. Here's the Morgan that got uh, red flagged at the crossing. Miss, Mrs. Whitaker's got, uh, she's, what, what this car ran, if you, you know, if you want to buy a car, 104 is the, uh, the glorious Morgan, so the, the timekeeping has gone slightly adrift, because we've got, uh, if uh, David can get uh, 